Greetings to all. I am Thaddeus Blair, werewolf hunter. My story began eight months ago. I had acquired a professional injury and decided to take a week off with my beloved fiance. While we were settled temporarily in the strange town of Brackerwood, talk of a werewolf filled the general area. I instantly set up camp here and began the hunt for another in a long line of werewolves. A lot has changed in those eight months. I've lost my beloved fiance. She meant everything to me. Regardless, the case of the Brackerwood werewolf survives to this day, but whether or not it survives past this day is a question that will be answered by me. And the answer is no, it will not, for I have a device that will change the entire profession of werewolf hunting forever. To test this device, I have been invited the four prime suspects to my house under the guise of a dinner party. Little do they know my actual intentions. There will be a full moon here in about 10 minutes. I'm on the clock. And so it begins. Hello, Jenny. How's the farm? Small, wet, filled with manure. That, Same that as was, usual. That was rhetorical, Jenny. I'm not sure you know what that word means. <laughs> well, I don't think you know what that word means either. I don't. Thaddeus Blair, werewolf hunter. Cornelius. How is my resident beast killer doing? On the job as we speak, in fact. How is my old benefactor? Terrific now that I'm in your presence yet again. Are you handling my money well? Oh, stop it, Cornelius. <laughs> I can't, I can't. <laughs> Please, you two have a seat. Hello, Thaddeus. Hello, Irene. I despise what you've done with the place. Do not insult my decorations, Irene. I will not stand for it. <laughs> not with those legs. <laughs> what? It was nothing, Jenny. Irene was just being coy. Oh, how dare you call me a fish? <laughs> <laughs> It would stop being so childish. I would like for you to take a seat. Good evening, Reverend Clark. Please come Hello. inside. Mr. Blair, it's good to see you here, mostly because I rarely get to see you in my church. <laughs> uh, please take the last seat, Reverend. I should be forward and say that I was conflicted on showing up to your dinner party, but in the end, I am always open to the opportunity of helping a soul in need. Speaking of dinner, where's the food supposed to be? Y yes. I'm sorry? Are you locking us in here? No, I am not. Uh, I think that's the kind of lock where you want to turn it the other way and then hold the door on the side. So I know how my own lock works! <laughs> I'm locking you in here. What the livid hail? Excuse me? Oh Why, Mr. Blair? There is no dinner and there is certainly no party. We are here to finally solve Brackerwood's werewolf problem once and for all. You four are my prime suspects. One of you is the werewolf, and in about six minutes from now, whoever they are will transform, killing everyone in this room. I bet it's the prostitute. I'm not a prostitute. You're a prostitute. You're a prostitute. You're a prostitute. All right, fine. I admit it. I'm a prostitute. But I am no werewolf. Sadly for you, Irene, I am well aware of your ability to lie. <laughs> I am too high class to be a werewolf. <laughs> if it's anybody, then it would be the woman with hair on her knuckles. Hey! That's great, Irene, but I think we'll need some actual proof. 
I can prove to you I was with a client on the night of the full moon. Who? Uh, well, <laughs> I don't know who exactly, but I could show you the records of all the <laughs> transactions I've completed over this year. No! <laughs> I don't think that would be necessary. Who's to say? Who's to say there even is a werewolf in our town? This whole scam is pre 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 preposterous. Nothing of an unholy nature could ever happen in Brackerwood. Frankly, Mr. Blair, your presence has been unwelcome in our town since day one. Well, Reverend. There certainly is a werewolf in Brackenwood, and it doesn't matter too much whatever proof you can gather, because I have a device. It can identify a werewolf within seconds. All I have to do is use it just before the full moon on all four of you. We figure out which one of you it is when you transform. I will use the town's one and only silver bullet to shut this case once and for all. This device could revolutionize the field of werewolf hunting for eternity. By the 21st century, people won't even know werewolves ever existed. Putting my money to good use. I'm glad you invited me just to see your work in action. No, Cornelius, you're one of the suspects. What? And if my device finds you to be the werewolf, I will have to kill you. What? How could you do this? Oh, I thought you loved me! You two were together? You didn't know that. Oh, I thought everybody knew that at this point. Well, I abstain from such gossip. <laughs> it was nothing. Shortly after my fiance died from a freak werewolf attack, I felt very lonely. Thaddeus, did some of my money go to paying Irene? She wasn't working when she was with me. I never paid for her. Now, this is interesting. Bah! The full moon's going to start any minute now. I can't get into all this when the turning point of my career is moments away. I am this close to catching our werewolf after months of full moon hunts. I must say that it has taken an awfully long time for you to successfully track down this beast. I thought I'd be dead by now, too. Almost every full moon, the thing comes to my farm and helps itself to my crops. It's crazy how the thing could eat that much tobacco. I do think this werewolf business has gone on a little longer than expected. <laughs> That's because we're chasing an unholy being that doesn't exist! Enough! I've only had trouble with this beast because I was injured. While fighting my last werewolf, it dashed me across my chest. It's healed mostly, but ever since then, I've been having a horrible sleeping disorder. What kind of sleeping disorder? Every time I try to go out werewolf hunting, I just pass out. You only go werewolf hunting when there's a full moon, right? Yes, but each hunt is cut short because of my unusual sleeping disorder. I also have a shedding problem. <laughs> that sounds unsanitary. Your life is unsanitary, Irene. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. Whenever I wake up after passing out, I'm covered in hair. My clothes feel like they're all stretched out. My mouth tastes like I ate a bunch of cigars. I'm miles away from home. It's horrible. I'm a werewolf hunter, but every hunt I do fails. I feel like I'm barking up the wrong tree. For months now, I've been chasing my own tail. I'm having such a rough time. When will life throw me a bone? How can I catch the werewolf now? Why, Thaddeus, you have your device. How could I forget so quickly? My device! I must go fetch it right now. So Thaddeus is obviously the werewolf. Ah. Uh, Fairly, yes. Okay, good to know. Even I believe he's the Breckerwood werewolf now. Do we... Tell him? Oh, I don't know. Oh, he's become the very thing he sought to destroy. That has to be very hard for him. But if we stay here any longer... All right, suspects! I have it here. What in the Lord's name is that? To be honest, I don't know. I call it the Mechanical Werewolf Hunter. 
a man with a very clean monochromatic suit, black glasses, and a weird curly thing hanging out of his ear gave it to me. He said something about timelines and the werewolf apocalypse. It was really weird. But now I have this thing! What does that mean? I don't like this. I do not like this. How could that thing be useful? It's just a box. I, I don't believe you. I, I can't believe you. You're crazy. Either that is the work of the devil, or I'm questioning my faith, Mr. Blair. Oh, come on, guys. This is a gift from the unknown. This is the only way I can fix my life. Do you really trust this thing, Thaddeus? Do you really know this thing won't kill us all, Thaddeus? Do you even know how this thing works, Thaddeus? Calm down. I'm pretty sure I just wave it around like a magic wand, and it tells me when it's close to a werewolf. Then I use the town's one and only silver bullet on the werewolf, and I will make history. Cornelius, may I borrow one of your guns? Oh, which one? I have multiple on me currently. Just a pistol would do nicely. Now, this werewolf is almost certainly in this room. So I will start the detecting process now. It's going to be sad to see one of you go. If I'm being honest, I would really like it to be Jenny. Hey! We just never really got along. I mean, Reverend Clark has morals. I've had a thing with Irene. Cornelius gives me money. They're at the bottom of the list. Now, that's not to say that I think you are the werewolf. I'm just saying that out of all the people here, I don't want to shoot. You're the one I don't want to shoot the least. What? I mean, I like you and respect you as a person, but nowhere near as much as the other three here. You're also a bit boring, so... You're the werewolf, Thaddeus. What are you saying? You are the werewolf. You have been since you got here. How dare you? My fiancé died of a werewolf attack! You killed your own fiancé when you became a werewolf. It that, happens whenever you pass out. That is the most ludicrous feel like I'm barking oh, up the now. wrong tree. I've been chasing my such own a rock When will I time. throw me a bow? Oh. Oh, snap. These last eight months of my life have been a complete lie. A joke created by nature for all to laugh at, hopefully. But should this define my existence? Should I be known to history as Thaddeus Blair, werewolf? Or should I be Thaddeus Blair, hero? This choice is mine to make and- Excuse us, but can we leave before you, you know? Oh. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Thaddeus. You four locked the door on your way out. 